Hello, my name is Grant. I'll be your English teacher today. Our lesson is going to be about body language. Um, I'm going to read an article first about body language, then we'll break it down into paragraphs and take out some vocabulary words to help understand them. Many people do not care about body language or its effects on communication and everyday life. Understanding the influence of body language is a powerful communication tool. In other words, you should care about your body language because it has tremendous practical and positive applications in your daily life. So first we'll look at body language. What is body language? Body language is anything. We use our eye contact for body language. We can use our hands. We can make hand gestures. Uh, we can also use other parts of our body like our shoulders, if you shrug, cross your legs, leaning forward, leaning back, uh, raising our arms. These are all different signs of body language. So it's saying understanding body language can be a powerful communication tool. It is very important to communicate with our bodies studies have shown that 55 percent of communication is actually through body language. Uh, we would think that it would be through talking and listening but more is through actually what we see through body language. 38 percent is from vocal uh, tone of voice, pitch, things like that. So when we say tone of voice it would be how we say a word. Um, the level uh, of our vocal cords when we say something would be the tone of voice. So we could say something, one word, three different ways and have three different meanings. If you call someone's name, like Billy, if a father was calling his son's name Billy, he would say, Billy, come here. Just means a regular way, normal way to call his son, Billy, come here. If he said it this way, Billy, Billy knows that he's probably in trouble. It's an angry way to say his name. The other would be Billy? Question. So is Billy there? Is Billy going? So one word, three different ways, and just changing the vocals made it three different meanings. Uh, the last would be 7% is through the actual words. So only 7% of communication is through actual words and their meanings. Okay, um, the next part it says tremendous practical and positive applications in your daily life. Tremendous would mean great. It has large influence on our daily life. Practical means useful, realistic. Uh, positive applications means good applications. Uh, it's good for our daily life. It's useful, great, good for our daily life. Next paragraph. Personal relationships. Body language affects and influences personal relationships, sometimes deliberately and sometimes spontaneous. So our personal relationships are affected by body language deliberately. Deliberately means on purpose. Uh, spontaneous. Spontaneous would mean not on purpose, uh, not planned. So if we have a spontaneous vacation, that would mean maybe your friend just calls you and says, hey John, let's go to the beach. Like right now, all of a sudden, let's do it, let's go. The other hand, it would be planned. Planned would be the opposite or deliberate. So you make necessary plans for a long time. Okay, so body language affects us sometimes deliberately, sometimes spontaneous. Think about the last time you went to dinner with someone special. What kinds of body language did you use to communicate affection, interest, and the like? So if you're out on a date with someone that you really like, you're probably doing some kind of body language like leaning forward towards them. You're interested in them eye contact, that's another body language, and you might be tilting your head slightly. Um, it's kind of saying like, I'm listening, I'm interested in the conversation. On the opposite, if you don't like somebody, you're maybe looking down, no eye contact, 
leaning back, not interested, maybe arms crossed. That's showing uncomfortable, uh, not interested, and you don't really care for the person that you're with or you're not interested in them. Okay, next paragraph would be professional and business endeavors. Endeavors would mean anything relating to business. Uh, business endeavors could be uh, meetings, conferences, seminars, uh, just everyday, daily uh, business activities. Body language has a great deal to do with how you perform and how you are perceived in the business world. Perceived would mean how people see us how we show ourselves and people see us. If somebody perceives me as being professional, they think that I'm a professional person. If they perceive me as being a slob, it means I'm not organized, I'm maybe lazy and uh, not very neat or clean. Okay, think of sales and customer service, where body language is an active part of working with clients and customers to obtain and maintain their business. For instance, how well would you do as a customer service agent if you constantly frowned, turned away from customers, and generally showed body language indicating you really did not care? So think if you were a salesperson and you were trying to sell this pen, okay? If I was trying to sell this pen and I always looked down and mumbled, didn't talk clearly, and didn't show eye contact or leaning forward, I probably couldn't sell this pen well. I might look like this. Hi, this is a good pen. I really like it. And I think it's very good to use. Do you think someone would buy this pen? Probably not. Because the body language is suggesting that it's not a good product. On the other hand, if someone is showing eye contact, they're leaning forward, they're interested, and they're talking with uh, excitement about the product, you would probably buy it. Oh, this is a great pen. I own five of these pens. I use them all the time. I've had them for five years. They write perfectly, and I really recommend buying this pen. It's very cheap, affordable, and it's a very nice product. So you might buy that pen.